High Church um, for this evening's prayer. You find me in, once again, the Blue Chapel of Gloucester Cathedral. And um, I just want to bring you uh, just a, a word from the Psalms, Psalm 51. And it says, it's just selected verses, verses 1, 7 and 12. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. That's the NIV version. Now my thoughts on this, um, now we live in quite a technological world. Um, phones that I'm filming this on now, iPads, computers, even our own TVs, the smart ones. And during lockdown we are very thankful for these. Just imagine lockdown without them, where would we be? But I don't know whether you've noticed, sometimes phones, TVs, and my computers, they need updating every now and then. Software can be out of date, or there's something wrong with it, and it just needs a quick repair. Even the free view that we use on our TVs needs retuning every now and then. And that's just to readjust where channels may be, or to add another channel. And in many senses, we need retuning. We need an update. And reading this verse from Psalm 51 just reminded me of that. I want to read you again, this time from a slightly different version. This is the Passion Translation. And it says this. God, give me mercy from your fountain of forgiveness. I know your abundant love is enough to wash away my guilt because your compassion is so great. Take away this shameful sin. Forgive the full extent of my rebellious ways and erase this deep stain on my conscience. Purify my conscience. Make this leper clean again. Wash me in your love until I am pure in heart. Let my passion for life be restored, tasting joy in every breath. Sorry, tasting joy in every breakthrough you bring to me. Hold me close to you with a willing spirit that obeys whatever you say. Now here you have um, a prayer, really, from David. And it's kind of a, a, a retuning prayer from David. You see, first of all, in verse 1 onwards, David's confession that he's done something wrong. And then from verse 7 onwards, he asks to be cleansed, to be forgiven. And then after that, from verse 12 onwards, is what we call David's consecration. He's being made holy. He's being blessed. So for our prayers tonight, what I want you to think about is those three steps. That confession, that cleansing, and that consecration, that being made holy, set apart. Let me read those words from the Passion Translation once again for you. God, give me mercy from your fountain of forgiveness. I know your abundant love is enough to wash away my guilt. Because your compassion is so great, take away the shameful guilt of sin. Forgive the full extent of my rebellious ways and erase this deep stain on my conscience. Purify my conscience. Make this leper clean again. Wash me in your love until I am pure in heart. Let my passion 
for life be restored tasting joy in every breakthrough you bring to me hold me close to you with a willing spirit that obeys whatever you say let's pray Heavenly Father we thank you that no matter what we've done you will forgive us Lord all we need to do Lord is come to you and fall at your knees and, and say sorry and our sins are not only forgiven but Lord you remember them no more you don't count them towards us Heavenly Father we pray your blessings upon us particularly at this time of lockdown as these new rules are being brought forward Lord these new guidelines that we cannot meet in each other in any great numbers once again Lord be with us and bless us we pray in Jesus name Amen <laughs>